Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Dr. Ashir and today I want to have a very short review regarding Novak Djokovic, the tennis player who have been detained in Australia and his visa was cancelled. If you want to know my take regarding this, please follow me to this video. So long story short, Mr. Djokovic traveled to country after Victoria State authorized the grant and granted him a medical exception to the country's strict vaccination requirements. So basically they gave him the green light and said, okay, since you already got the COVID-19, you don't need to be vaccinated so you can enter. And then once he entered the country, uh, they detained him, they canceled his visa, then he have to go to the court. His lawyers uh, represent all the evidence that he already got the COVID. He have the marker for the antibodies and then they released him. And at this point, again, Australia Immigration Ministry revoked the unvaccinated tennis star uh, visa for second time on Friday. So if Australian government are worried for the rate of infection, he already got the COVID, so he's immune to certain level. Same as vaccine. If you get the vaccine, you still can get reinfected. Same as the person who already get the COVID, he can get reinfected. There is no need for such an unscientific action for this matter. I believe the best approach towards the COVID-19 pandemic was from the Northern Europe countries. In these countries, they already have a very interesting protocol. If you're already infected with the COVID-19 and your blood test show that you have the antibody, on top of that, you have the T cells that are even work better than the antibodies because they already recognize the virus, the specific COVID-19 virus. Therefore, they're specialized to fight that they already give you a certificate that you are vaccinated. You don't need to get vaccination. It's by your will. If you want to get vaccinated or get a booster shot, it's up to the person, but they won't force you to get vaccinated again. Why? Because they look at this matter very simple. The aim of the vaccination is to bring the, at least 70% of the population to the certain level of immunity. By doing this, we reduce the rate of the infection. At the same time, we reduce the chance of the virus for mutating. If you have paying attention to all the news, most of the majority, most of the deadliest uh, mutation happened within the country that they were behind the immunization by vaccinations, such as Delta virus, that it start to become really critical in India because that time India was behind the vaccination program. Applying such unreasonable rules in such countries, such democratic countries, won't help the fate of the vaccination, won't help the uh, fate of the mass population, won't fate, uh, it won't help the fate of the vaccination. It just bring and make the propaganda it helped the anti-vax people to use this to make propaganda and make controversies regarding the government tying up with the pharmaceutical companies to sell their vaccine to us and then lots of other nonsense that nowadays is floating around part of this action also could come from the majority of population in australia feeling that the government pushed them too much for getting the vaccination at the same time all the rules was very strict for them so they feel burdened that why we had to uh, obey and follow these rules while the outsider can come without vaccination and the government to covering up what they did what wrong with um, and the government to covering up and basically save their own butt they need to put this type of nonsense information nonsense rules on somebody like Mr. Djokovic but I wish all over the world learn from the Northern Europe and learn how did they democratically and very wisely deal with this situation. I hope this video was interesting for you if it was please don't forget to like and subscribe till next time.